All right, it's time to open up the P.O. Box mail that I got in October. So, let's see what you guys sent in. Here's a postcard from... Ooh, I can't... Can I read this? H. Elgard? Elgard? I don't know. Hello, my wife and I both are fans of your channel. Never fails to make me laugh. We both are art artistic and have an art show starting in October and wanted to let you know about it should you find yourself in Anchorage, Alaska. You seem to enjoy Mario, so here he is. Okay, I can't draw Mario, but here he is as a T-Rex. And here is a T-Rex Mario. It's very awesome. From, is this Helgard? I'm sorry I can't read your name. I think, maybe that's an S-S-H Elgard? I can read the Elgard part. I'm just gonna call you Elgard. Thank you, Elgard. I, it's a little too late for the uh, for the art show, but I hope it was awesome. And uh, uh, yeah, from Alaska, that's pretty cool. And I dig this Mario T-Rex, so thank you very much, Elgard. If that's not your name, please correct me or tell me what your name is. All right, here's a postcard from Katie. Hey, Sung Wan, greetings from Salem, Massachusetts. I just wanted to say how much I love your gaming channel, your ramen videos, and everything in between. Hope you have a great and spooky Halloween season from Katie. And there's a cool Salem Witch Museum post postcard. Stop by for a spell. It's happy. Thank you very much, Katie. Here's a letter from Texas. Dear Sung Wan, Alex, and Anne Marie, this is the first time I've written a letter to a YouTuber, but I have two matters of great import. So this is written for our Let's Play channel, Press Buttons and Talk. You can check it out in the description below press buttons and talk. First is a funny story about your videos, which I relate in the form of a today I fucked up that I posted to Reddit. So I'm in a play and one night I came home after rehearsal hoping to relax and unwind. I'd already eaten but I thought I'd snack a bit and grab myself a Slim Jim. I sat down at the table and because I hate eating alone without some entertainment, I grabbed my iPad and opened YouTube. I turned on the world's funniest Let's Players, Alex, Sung Won, and Anne Marie on their channel Press Buttons and Talk. I had been binging their playthrough of Kingdom Hearts and I picked up right where I left off partially through an episode. As things progressed, uh, one of them cracked a joke and I snorted it in laughter mid-chew. All of a sudden, bits of spicy meat flew into my nasal cavity. Oh god. I immediately recoiled, downing a glass of milk and blowing my nose over the sink. I immediately had an allergic reaction. My nose stuffed up until I could only breathe through my mouth. Oh my god. I kept blowing my nose on about 50 it tissues, bits of slimy Slim Jim occasionally making a reappearance. They were absolutely disgusting, but it was such a relief to clear my nostrils with a sinewy blockage. The biggest one came the following morning. That fucker was the size of my index fingernail, just in an elongated shape. After that, it was all cleared out from, from my nose, but it took a while for the allergies to wear off. So yeah, that was your fault. Oh my god, that is horrible. Uh, Jesus. The other thing is a question I have commented but never received a response to. Could you play a PC game on the channel? Because the thing is, I have a pretty good game that, knowing your channel, would be gut-bustingly funny if you were to make fun of it. It has plenty of wacky characters, frustrating cameras, and is completely untapped on YouTube. It's called Space Colony, a blend of real-time strategy, tycoon simulation, and The Sims. I have a copy that runs perfectly well for PC, and would be willing to send it to you if you give me a yes. Please know that I enjoy your channel, and I eagerly await your playthrough of Rechained. Uh, Kingdom Hearts is still my favorite playthrough on the channel, especially episode 38. Sincerely, Rob. Thank you, Rob. Uh, we don't really play PC games on the channel. Uh, we're kind of focusing on console games right now, but maybe one day in the future. If we ever decide to do PC games, I will. we will make an announcement. And uh, otherwise, that story, oh my god, Rob. That sounds horrible. Makes for a funny story, though, but horrifying and i hope your nasal cavities are better now here's another letter also from texas all right dear sung one this may be a bit different from the usual letters you get i know you enjoy the persona series and i've recently been doing a lot of research into union psychology which as it turns out the persona game series is based on i don't want to get into the details as union psychology can make some people uncomfortable but if you're interested in researching it, which I highly suggest you do, I've listed some links below, and they've included some links to Wikipedia articles. Some people are put off by Jung's work, while others find it mind-blowing. Either way, I still think it's fun to look for an anime, and hey, maybe it'll help you make sense of Kingdom Hearts. Winky face. No, it won't. On an unrelated note, what would you rate these waifus? Lord Dominator from Wander Over Yonder, and Katara from Avatar. So here, they've also included pictures. Uh, Lord Dominator? I haven't seen this show... I'd say 2.5 out of 5. The, not, not really my thing. Katara? Katara's nice. Kind of annoying, but I'll say 3.3 .3 out of 5. P.S. I think it'd be neat if you, your wife, and perhaps Mankey did a video where you search for your doppelgangers on twinstrangers.net. I didn't know that was a thing. Maybe we'll do that. 
and this is from Anonymous. So thank you, Anonymous, for the letter. Here's a package from Riley from New York. Oh, shit. Huh. All right. Alex and Sung Won, and sometimes Anne Marie. I'd like to say that I appreciate how well you can voice scripted dialogue and at the same time improvise your own, including dialogue for characters who aren't even in the game. Since I enjoy PBNT content so much, I would love if episodes were a little longer. If you're not interested in that, I understand, but consider this. If you have a large backlog of, backlog of games or are playing a lengthy game, longer videos would help. For instance, although I look forward to Trials and Tribulations, three months without any new games is unfortunate. First episodes receive the most views. Longer episodes would allow you to start more series, increasing overall views. This should please the algorithm, which might, which might favor your channel more. Additionally, longer gaming videos perform well in current YouTube. On each anniversary, you increase content with an extra day. Since there are no more days, you could increase video length. Your earliest vids were consistently below 15 minutes, so an increase has precedence. You say you typically film four to five weeks in advance, so even if you doubled episode length, you'd still have a multi-week buffer. You could still have a shorter episode whenever you don't feel like continuing a particular game that session. If longer episodes do not appeal to you, then please disregard my suggestion. I do not mean to be imposing, I'm just invested in the channel. I know people often want you to return to prior series, but I personally prefer when you try new games. Maybe one of those games will be Mushroom Men, The Spore Wars. I think I've heard of this, um, but I have not played it. Uh, but yeah, it's for the Wii. Regardless of what you do, I'm sure the channel will continue to be lots of fun, and I look forward to your future videos. From Riley. Thank you, Riley. As far as um, episode length goes, uh, for the time being, I think it's going to stay at what it is right now, which is around 15 minutes. But usually, like, it's usually 15 to 18-ish. We don't have a strict limit for our length, but for our current schedule, since you know the press, the let's let's play channel is not a full-time thing, right? So I'm a lot busier now. Uh, Alex is working on his own stuff. So for our current schedule, we used to be able to have like weeks in advance buffer, but currently because of busyness, our, we don't actually have that big of a buffer. Uh, that and we don't have as much time to record, so uh, what we got now is uh, what we can do realistically at the moment. If the channel maybe gets more successful, then we could maybe do other longer episodes or more episodes or something, but for now I think it's going to stay this way. But thank you for the game, and I appreciate it. Here's a package from Amy from California. Hey Sung Won, I love your videos, even the unboxing ones. Your skits make me laugh so hard even though they are not too long. You are so chill and laid back and I aspire to be like that one day. Keep doing what you are doing since you are so good at it. Here are some extra Pokemon cards I had laying around so I decided to give them to you. I hope you like them. Please pet Effie and Sophie for me. Your fan, Amy. Aw, thank you Amy. I will definitely give them pets for you. I pet them all the time anyway. But here's a cute Leafeon pin. Aw, that's cute. Uh, oh, and look at this thick stack here. Let me take a look through these. Ooh, here's a shiny rock rough. Some trainer cards, too. That's cool. I like collecting trainer cards. Dang, I'll have to take a proper look through these after this, after I'm recording this. But thank you very much. And then they also sent a booster pack, uh, Ultra Prism. All right, let's do a little unboxing. All right, we got Roselia. We got Cosmog. We got Turtwig. We got Electabuzz. And Cheruby. Ooh. A rare Roserade. An Araquanid. Okay. We got a Dark Energy, a Magneton, a Spirit Tomb, and an Alolan Dugtrio. Alright, pretty cool. Thank you very much, Amy. I'm glad you liked the videos, and thank you very much for the cards. It's super cool. Alright, here's another package. Oh my god. Dear Mr. ProZD, I've been trying to watch uh, write this letter for a long time. It's just been that school has been extremely demanding and life is catching up. But regardless, I wanted to send this letter because I was trying to get this off my mind for the longest time. Uh, during 2018, I tried to meet you at Teco in Pittsburgh and then Otakon in Washington, D.C. Being Teco, uh, Pittsburgh, my first con ever, I messed up your signing times, but that's just a rookie's mistake. I still think it's hilarious, but when I got to meet you at Otakon, I choked really hard and lost all my words I wanted to say. Not sure if you care or even remembered, but I went as the Tower Confidant from P5, and you signed my hat. I don't expect you to remember, but hey, brownie points if you do. Also, I wanted to say thank you for always making really good content and being a really good voice actor. I think maybe just meeting you at first was super spooky at first, and I didn't know what to expect. I'm definitely an introvert, but seeing you portray all these, the characters and using your voice to defy your vocal horizons is really admirable. I've watched you since your Vine days and really enjoy ACD and press buttons. I highly doubt it will ever happen again, but if we get a chance to meet at a con, I'll try my best to be more approachable to actually hold a conversation. You probably have already watched this, or even owned this, but I wanted to share with you what I got me into anime with the fantastic Bobobo. Oh my god. 
I remember when One Piece was being dubbed on Toonami that occasionally they would play one of these episodes on there. You never can forget the first shows you loved. Mostly because of that, for my birthday back in June, my two friends both got me the same DVD for Bobobo and figured you'd really like it. If you want to give away the copy or whatever, that's fine. Spread the love. Hope you and your family are all doing well. Good luck and God bless. Adam from Virginia. Thank you, Adam. Wow, Bobobo, huh? I have seen little bits of this, but uh, wow, now I own it on DVD. That is incredible. Uh, yeah, I, I think the show is really funny. I just have not seen that much of it, but that, that should change now. And as far as uh, meeting in person, I hope I see you again at a con sometime. Um, I totally get it. When you meet like someone that you really, you know, let's say admire or something, someone you think is cool, sometimes you get nervous, and I totally get that. Uh, but if we ever cross paths again, feel free to strike up a conversation. But thank you very much, Adam. Here's a package from David from, looks like, Ar Arizona or Alaska? I can't read that. I think it's Alaska, maybe. Dear Sung One Cho, thank you for making such great videos. Your videos always uh, entertain me every time. I've been watching you for a year now and every video is great. I hope your move has gone very well and you have a good neighborhood slash city. Also, I have been collecting some figures of my own and have a good collection. Is there anywhere you would recommend uh, buying anime slash game figures cheap? Lastly, I don't draw much, but I made this Zoro Samurai that I think looks dope. So I hope you like the drawing and keep living happily. David, age 15. P.S. Could you please make another figure video of your new setup at your new house? Thank you. You know, I should do that. Maybe I will do a figure. Because I got like a bunch of, you can see them back there. Um, but I, I got a bunch more since that last video. And this is, here's a cool Zoro drawing. That's super cool. Yo. Especially uh, what's going on in the new arc. It's, it's fun stuff. Uh, as far as buying figures, honestly, Amazon, that, you can get good stuff off Amazon. Uh, for stuff that's harder to get, I use Ami Ami. Um, there's other sites too, but Ami Ami is usually my go-to. Itaikuji is another good site. Those are ones that I would recommend personally. But thanks for the drawing, and thank you very much, David. Uh, yeah, I should do another figure video. Here's a package from Autumn from New York. Hope you guys have fun playing one of my favorite childhood games. This is Hamtaro Ham Hams Unite. Honestly though, it's probably going to be just as frustrating as Ham Ham Heartbreak, if not more. Thanks and good luck, Autumn. And they've included, included a little too much to eat, Hamtaro. Oh, Ham we're just gonna keep going on these Hamtaro games. Hamtaro, Ham Hams Unite. I is this? I think this is the one that's similar to the one we played, Heartbreak. It's like an adventure game, kinda. Uh, okay. Uh, probably gonna be like frustrating, but I, I'm always down for more Hamtaro and hopefully Bijou time. Uh, should be fun. Thank you, Autumn. All right, here's another package. Oh shit. Howdy, PBNT. I knew I had to send you this because it's called Remars Turd, which is the best name ever. Here's a Remars Turd Red Faction Gorilla. I don't- I've never played these games, but I've heard of them. Remars Turd, that pisses me off. And also because it's my favorite open world game too. I hope you enjoy it. Jonathan. Hey, thank you, Jonathan. Remars Turd. You know what? We'll play this on the channel at some point. The Remars Turd edition. Still makes me mad. All right, here's a package from the Dusty Top Hat. It's a card game, Butts in Space. This was sent to me by Katrina and Avery, and I guess you can get this at, uh, at they're at, at Butts in Space app, A-P-P, and www.buttsinspaceapp.com. Uh, oh no, evil butt has stolen all the toilet paper in the universe and destroyed your toilet spaceship. Play as Bow Butt, Harry Butt, Classy Butt, and Butt Butt as you try to gather more toilet paper than your friends before your spaceship is repaired. Shake things up by unleashing a mighty power fart. Protect yourself from harm by wearing your lucky pair of underwear. Distract your friends with the baffling boob butt and stare longingly at your collection of cute toilet papers. So check that out if you're interested. Butts in Space app. Alright, here's another package. Hi Sung One, I've been meaning to send you a letter for months. I enjoy watching your videos, especially the monthly P.O. Box hauls. Congratulations on moving to California and the success of Anime Crimes Division. My family's company actually makes law enforcement badges and I checked to see if we made your prop badge when I first saw it. Unfortunately, we didn't, but I bet I would recognize the name of the company that did. Today is the start of October and it appears from Twitter that you are in South Korea. Yeah, earlier this year I was in Korea and Japan on a long, like, two-week trip. That's awesome. My wife and I went to Seoul and Pyeongchang for the Winter Olympics back in February. Oh, cool. Included with this letter is a magnet we got at the KT5G building at the Olympic Park. Ooh, ooh, here it is. That's super cool. That place was like a pop-up Epcot. I love that trip so much, I'm totally planning on making the journey to Tokyo for the Summer Games in two years. I'm including a bunch of other random stuff with this letter, too. 
There are two sealed packs of cards. Ooh, okay. Oh, Duel Masters and... Oh, yeah, they're both Duel Masters. They came in a Koro Koro comic that I bought on a whim, and I have no clue what they're from. There's also a puzzle ball where you push the colored balls in and around the open circles with matching colored rims. Think of it sort of like a spherical Rubik's Cube. What else did I include? Oh, a Pikachu pin. There he is. Oh, that's Pikachu. Toki Doki pin, as well as a cake Dumbo Tsum Tsum. Oh, aw. It's a little Dumbo. It looks like a cake. From the arcade game. Lastly, there's a Blazian keychain. I don't even know what this is. Blazian? Oh, he looks cool. And a handful of Yokai. Oh, I assume from Yokai Watch. Yokai Watch medals. And one arc from the new Yokai Watch Shadow Side series. So we got a bunch of. I guess these are for Yokai Watch. And this one, too. I have no idea. This is like a key? I have no idea what these are for. I think these are all Yokai Watch, though. I'm a big fan of the Yokai Watch 3DS games and Shadow Side, not so much the original anime. Completing the medallion in those games is brutal. The closest I have come is 97% and Yokai Watch 2 Psychic Spectres. Thank you for your hilarious video clips. I did not discover you until after Vine shut down. I have since gone through and watched a lot. So many laughs. Take care. Keep up the great work, Azure Starline. All right, well, thank you very much, Azure Starline. Uh, I'm glad you enjoyed your trip to Korea. I think Korea is great. I think more people should visit because it's so much fun. And thank you for all these goodies. Yeah, a lot of cool pins and uh, cards and stuff. Uh, yeah, thank you very much. Super cool. All right, here's another package. This is a heavy one. It's just energy drinks. Organic energy drinks. Okay. They are raspberry pomegranate flavor. For purpose, energy drinks, organic. Okay, I'll take some energy drinks. Thank you, mystery sender. Let me know if you sent this. Thank you. Finally, here's a big old box from Thomas from Georgia. Alex and Marie and Sung One. Alphabetical is the only way to address three megastars. You are megastars, right? Of course you are. Of course we are. I started watching Pro ZD clips on YouTube, uh, post Vine, and found mainly through Reddit. They were hilarious and made me want to try way too many Japanese snacks. I heard PB&T mention and thought, who watches other play people play video games? Turns out, I do. Many others do, and it's amazing. Two games really hooked me, New Super Mario Bros. U and Super Smash Bros., mostly because I love to play them, and Smash reminded me of playing Melee with my best buddy in college. We actually turned it into a drinking game. Set all computers, pick your character, uh, they lose a stock, you drink. Sounds pretty good. PB&T gives me some hardcore nostalgia and makes me laugh endlessly. I put it on during the day while I'm at work and just keep it running. I love seeing uh, slash hearing you all enjoying what you're playing. If you're having fun, it's generally coming through and how much fun you're having with the voices. And because I've started following more recently, I've gotten so many episodes. I've got so many episodes to watch. How are you all enjoying California? That seemed like a stressful transition, so I hope all is well with all of you and everyone is pe feeling good. To hopefully increase your happiness, I've included a few things for you to enjoy playing, and hopefully you can use them on PB&T as well. SNES. Oh man. I've had this around for a while, but it makes me happy to send it somewhere where someone can really enjoy it. SNES games, several. You can play these on PB&T or not, up to you. I included them because I had them with the SNES. And a new 3DS XL. Got my Switch and haven't played since, so hopefully you can make use of it as well. See second note for 3DS specific notes. Wow, that is very generous of you. Your voices and characters make many people laugh, so hopefully these things can help that continue. Personally, I have only a couple of requests slash suggestions. Make Alex sing an entire episode and more silly Smash games. Ha ha ha. Maybe we'll do Smash and make him sing the whole time as thank you. SNES note. It's old and didn't want to load up at first because of dirty contacts. You can scrub with an old toothbrush and 91% rubbing alcohol. Uh, games and system, or insert and eject repeatedly to scrub them, which worked for me and all were working. Thanks for all the laughs, Tommy. And that's at Tomcat Vickers, T O M C A T B I C K E R S on Twitter, and John Q Zoidberg on Discord. All right, wow, thank you very much, Thomas. Uh, let's take a look. So here's the Super Nintendo. Wow, uh, yeah, this will be very useful, especially because. We've been wanting to play Super Nintendo games. And two controllers. Wow. Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy Kong's Quest, or Diddy's Kong Quest. Uh-uh, -uh, I get it now. Yeah, I haven't played, I haven't really played these, but Alex loves these games. Wolverine Adamantium Rage, I've never even heard of this. Donkey Kong Country 3, Dixie Kong's Double Trouble, Primal Rage, Killer Instinct, which I also have not played, Clay Fighter, which I've also never, I've, there's a lot of SNES, and SNES games I didn't play. I had one, but I didn't play, like, a bunch of games. Street Fighter 2? And shit, here's a 3DS XL. Uh, wow. That is super generous. 
And Thomas has also included a Professor Layton game. Professor Layton and the Diabolical Box. God damn. We're gonna have to go through the Professor Layton games through at some point now. God damn. Thank you very much, Thomas. That is, I keep saying it, but wow, super generous of you. A uh, whole bunch of games, two new consoles. Uh, shit. Thank you very much. I, I'm really excited about this stuff. All right, that was everything that I got in the P.O. Box. Thank you to all of you for your letters, your gifts. Super generous of you, and I really, really appreciate it. If any of you want to send uh, your own letters or some cool shit, my P.O. Box address is in the description below. Uh, thank you, everybody. I will see you all next time. Goodbye.